السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته على كل الناس اللي هيتابعونا على الرياضة اللي بنحبها كلنا لعبة كمال الأجسام في العالم كله انتوا طبعا عارفين الراجل اللي معايا ده هو الايدل بتاعي او المحبوب بتاعي الشخص اللي انا كبرت على اللعب كمان الاجسام معاه والشخص اللي تمنيت من حياتي كلها ان هو يبقى مست بطل مستر اولمبيا ولو مره واحده بس معايا النهارده كريس كورمير الراجل اللي بجد عمل طفره من بعد ما اعتزل وابتدى يخش في عالم التدريب ويأهل ناس كتيره جدا انها تبقى في بطولات مستر اولمبيا ومحققين نجاحات منهم بريون بطل الكلاسيك وهنساله النهارده عن تحضيراته لبريون هتبقى عامله ازاي كريس كوميا هاو ار يو سير اي ميست يو سو ماتش ثانك يو سو ماتش جود تو سي يو اجين فيري جود كريس تيل مي اباوت اولمبيا 2020 هاو يو فيل اباوت ات ام اي ام وي هير وي ميد ذا بيست اوف ات ام جلاد وي ايبل تو اكشلي هاف ذا شو سو ثانكس تو جيم مان ان ان ذا ذا هول ذا هول كرو بيهايند making this possible uh dan uh, uh, john simon jack woods yeah jake is i mean it's, it's so 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 good to have someone like him to have uh the passion behind making all this possible so we will gonna jump to many questions which first what's behind the scenes for brian this year how you how you prepare him how he looks like well we um i was going back and forth from new york uh city to California with uh, Juan Morel so I was help I was help training him oh, and okay. yeah so we worked very hard uh, stayed you know stayed there with him and then I would come back to California made another trip back out and then came back uh, to uh, back to California and then I started my camp with uh, Brian and then uh, we just uh, took off uh, he was possibly 197 pounds at the time and he uh, some he uh so then he started to make his way down he made it down to 179 today yeah. and now he's back up to 185 so that's uh he's a hard worker I, i've always uh admired his uh tenacity in the gym his work ethic and his uh, uh he's just highly motivated to be the best he can be what about big rami this year how you see him uh, i think uh between now and i think he maybe even better than he was when he took second uh before i see him as a as a he's got to be a high priority uh for the judges to get a good look at and i think uh i well, think he sent him like special invitations so they have to take a very good look at him well the thing is you can't ever deny someone that his his girth and his statue uh to have all these rumblings of him being in top shape you know they're going to give him a, a really good look i see it it's hard to see him pass top two in the world already so now we're gonna give you some news about Rami he joined already the team chaos squad which where you have been in Egypt uh, coaching there and you have been uh, giving your advices for all the chaos squad evaluation do you remember that at the, at the time in Egypt oh for sure for yeah, sure so he joined them yeah. oh wow yeah. that's that's yeah. that's great news man I'm sure he's gonna be uh, uh, well supported yeah. uh, from his people and I think that uh, he's probably going to uh, do very well with them so so for you for you what's new about Chris Cormier oh just uh, just kind of made my stake over in San, Di San Diego so I've been having guys come down and do my camp Cormier there and uh, I just really I want to make it grow and I want to get uh, to be able to reach out to the masses get all what's in my brain onto digital form so I can help people in the masses uh, what I've learned over the last 40 years And uh, I feel like, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm really happy about that. And uh, I want, as long as I have the passion to do what I do, I want to continue to do what I do. Chris, I was going to say something as, as a fan for you. I want you to focus not on the training as much as you, I want you to focus about giving classes for posing because you are gifted in that. If gifted you, in both. But but Whoa. you in in poses? <laughs> oh my goodness! You got, yeah. because there are some Olympians yeah, on team yeah, now. Yeah, no, they don't know how to pose. They don't know how to make no, the, the crowd is, be happy about them. The thing is, you gotta have it uh, within. You gotta like make up in your mind you want to be good at that. So you gotta put you gotta put the time in. The time in making it, perfecting it, and it's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours you need to put in. Not wait until you two weeks out and try to slap something together to where you can somehow you know get uh you know 
be good enough, but you want to be good, uh, you know, spending more time in the off season yeah, sure. making this happen. It's not just right before the show. And yes, I would love to uh, to do that. I want to I want to work on doing some stuff. Uh, hopefully, I'll let you know uh, in the future and and can teach uh, worldwide, even though I'm in one yes. spot. Yes. I'll still be able to teach worldwide. Yeah, 100%, 100%. Yeah. I really appreciate that. But how you feel about the the Middle East right now? Is it improving? Is it going bigger? Are you seeing like the Egyptians even they are reaching out for Olympia? I just think you got to continue to try to learn and not think that okay, I know everything and uh, you know just continue to try to to learn and try to uh, perfect your craft. And uh, yeah, I think uh, the Middle East has always got great potential if you have the you know the, the backing yeah. and support from uh, some superior people that can help uh, in some type of way to to help the next ones coming up, the the bigger brother types to help the people take people underneath their wing and. And, and help everyone, but also bring in someone like myself, someone like Sean, someone like, uh, you know, some of the people that actually proven that they are able to be very effective coaching yeah. and just keep learning. And then I think that's going to make everything grow and get better and bigger. Well, I really appreciate that. I know that you're really already tired. You need to go for bed. Yeah. So what are you expecting tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, just good, just good to see these guys. Uh, I think the, I think this is going to be the best Olympia. Even though we had COVID situation this year and um, there has been a lot of uh, heartache and turmoil behind it, I, I think we're going to still be able to get some guys have really good condition. And I think it's going to be better conditioned than it has been in a long time. And, and having all the, the different Mr. Olympias all going head to head, I, I can't wait to see it. Okay. We will see you after Olympia tomorrow, the pre-judging. And we will going to take some words from you and we will going to take in the final, some words from you too. For sure. Yeah, thank you no so problem, much, sir. Thank, right. thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, I love you, I love you so much.